turned on the seatbelt light. Please take your seat and fasten your seatbelts. Thank you. Hi there, Madcap Propeller Heads. Here's what's new in Mimic 8. Frame Editor. The Frame Editor now includes a fully integrated live preview bar with synchronized audio. This lets you preview your work immediately and pause when you need to make adjustments. The audio is also synchronized with the preview bar. So, whether you start at the beginning of the movie, the middle of a frame, or drag the playhead to a particular point, the audio associated to that moment plays as if you were viewing the final product. Keyframes In Mimic 8, keyframes have replaced animations and trajectories. Keyframes indicate points within a frame where an object or effect will transition from its current state to a new state. In other words, whenever a keyframe transition happens, the object or effect properties change. Because of this, you can create simple animations, such as a bouncing oval. You can create all types of keyframes. Position keyframes that allow your object to move across the frame. Opacity keyframes that change the transparency of an object. Background keyframes that change the color of an object. Text keyframes that change what's written on an object. Size keyframes that can reduce or increase the size of an object and rotation keyframes that will tilt or spin an object on the frame. You can edit keyframes to access additional options to customize each transition from one keyframe to the next. Linking to external palettes. If you're working with a team and need to share palettes among team members, you can link to external palettes. When a palette or profile is saved to a common location, such as a network drive, any user who links to the file can make changes to it. When other users save their changes, those changes are saved directly to the source palette, so anyone linking to it will see those changes. Linking to external profiles and palettes is a good way to be sure that other members of your team always have the most current version of the file. Properties Window Panes You'll notice that some property dialogs have been replaced with window panes. The Frame Properties window pane allows you to get each frame exactly the way you want it. The Object Properties window pane lets you customize each object. The window pane is dynamic and changes depending on the object selected in the frame. The Sound Properties window pane controls each audio object in the frame. The Keyframe Properties window pane gives you access to specific object properties and keyframe transition types. The Effect Properties window pane lets you alter how an effect is applied to an object. You'll also notice that the Timeline window pane has had some upgrades. In addition to being able to see a timeline representation of all the objects, effects, keyframes, and audio on a frame in the frame view, you'll also be able to see two new timeline views. Video insertion. If you have a WMV or MP4 video file that you would like to include as part of your movie, you can simply insert it using the Insert Video Frame option. The video is added as a new frame, and a film strip image on the frame indicates that it is a video. Video services. Video services give you the power to upload your video to YouTube or Vimeo without leaving Mimic. Using the Video Services window pane, you can log on to an external video service, upload non-interactive movies, edit a movie's basic information, including movie description, search tags, and privacy level, remove movies that are no longer relevant, or view and manage other movies that you've uploaded to this account, whether or not you used Mimic to upload them. Visual States you can create multiple visual states for each object, which allows you to assign a visual state or different look for an object when a particular action is taking place. For example, when you click a button, it turns blue. You can then assign a visual state using the object's action properties. These are just some of the new features in this release of Mimic. For a complete list, see the What's New topic in the online help.